Hello and welcome back to this first edition of Tiger Broadcast. I'm Erica Milligan. And I'm Jacqueline Berry. On this edition, we're going to take a look at a new LSHS staff member and learn just a little bit more about a club that is new to Lee Summit High School. And we'll also take a look at a few challenges one of LSHS seniors has faced. And we'll also see how many of our fellow classmates keep up on the news. All this and more on this edition of Tiger Broadcast. Each year, Lee Summit High School has lots of new staff members, but this year there's one in particular that we at Tiger Broadcast feel you should get to know. Jacqueline Berry tells us more about a new friendly face. I love to read and I like to facilitate that need in young students. Though reading isn't new to Jennifer Blankenship, taking on the task of Lee Summit Library Clerk is. So Mrs. Blankenship is new to the library setting, so there's been a lot of just learning how to do different things over these first few weeks. One of my primary roles is to help oversee our student workers that we have each hour, and also to check in and out books. And then another one of my primary job is to check in and out Chromebooks. Taking on a full-time job is a huge change for anyone, but having a sense of familiarity can really create a helpful environment. It's also great because she has a previous connection to the school because she went here and of course she coaches, so she knows a lot of the students and she's done great interacting with the students. That connection to students and LSHS came in the form of coaching the Tigerettes. Well, when I closed my dance studio, I didn't have that creative outlet anymore. So being asked to assistant coach the Tigerettes felt, you know, that kind of filled the hole that closing my studio left. I was a Tigerette, so it was really fun to come back and be a part of the organization, only having a different role. Being a Tigerette coach has helped her make the transition into the library as she already knows a few familiar faces. She's very personable. Um, she has an easy time talking to all of the students and teachers. She's extremely friendly. RSB students that I've, um, that I've developed a personal relationship with on a professional level, of course, but I already had a standing personal relationship with my whole squad. So that has made the transition a little bit easier because I do know a group of kids who, you know, if they come in, then they'll be like, oh, well, this is one of my coaches. And so then I get to meet other new people. She's also formed a relationship with her coworkers in the library. Mrs. Coleman and Mrs. Donahue are really awesome to work with. I'm really good at teaching and guiding through all of the things that were expected of the new job uh, because there are an awful lot of things that I had to learn. She's always, you know, willing to help someone and ask if she isn't sure. I always think that's great, you know, someone who is just willing to help however they can and then ask, you know, if they need assistance helping someone. Don't forget to stop by the library and say hello to our new library clerk and Tigerette coach. Signing out for Tiger Broadcast. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. This awesome. is Jacqueline Berry. In this next segment, Maya Patton and Olivia Pace tell us the story of one Lee Summit High School senior who didn't let her injury be the end of the line. A Lee Summit Tiger who is well known around the school isn't only a friendly face in the halls, but also very involved in school activities, such as FBLA, National Honor Society, and Loud Crowd. Not only is she active in school, but outside of it, she coaches gymnastics and has always seen gymnastics as her future. And she had done it her whole life and kind of saw that as her future and getting into college was already probably guaranteed a full ride. 
In 2013, Lindsay experienced a very severe neck injury that fractured her C3 vertebrae and also jetted out her C2 and tore five ligaments in her neck while doing a dismount from the uneven bars when suddenly her hand had slipped. So after gymnastics, I just felt kind of lost because I didn't have something that I love anymore. I didn't have a passion for anything. Without gymnastics, Lindsay had to make a decision. Well, for the for first year, I wasn't allowed to do anything, like any sports besides four, which were tennis, swimming, running, and golf, and tennis seemed like the most fun to me. Although Lindsay has lost the sport she loved, she has now found a new passion in the sport of tennis. Tennis kind of brought back a fire inside of me, and it kind of brought back a passion. Since Lindsay's injury, she has now played on the tennis team for the last four years and brought nothing but a good attitude and love for the game. I loved coaching Lindsay Allen because she brings such great team spirit. She's a fierce competitor and she just is really going to leave this great legacy of, of being a competitor, being a team player, being a team supporter, and it's been fun to coach her the last four years. She's made it through a tremendous terrible injury and come out on top whether she wins or loses for the season at every match. I'm so proud of everything she's done. Signing out for Tiger Broadcast. This is Olivia Pace. Learning new languages can be difficult, but learning one that doesn't use any words can be even more challenging. Carly Roberts and Emma Osterley bring us the story of a new LSHS club that seems to be making a huge impact. There are many students at Lisa Ma High School. However, there is one student you may have seen above all others, senior Miriam Rice. Miriam is involved in NHS, Sign Language Club, Spanish Honor Society, and National Art Honor Society. Dealing with all these clubs and activities can be a huge challenge, but Miriam seems to have it all under control. Definitely there has to be a lot of prioritizing because on top of these clubs, I also do have a job and you know six IB classes and so it's not logical or possible for me to do literally everything every single day and so definitely there needs to be a lot of organization and you know saying no to certain things. One thing that she didn't say no to was creating and starting the sign language club. I've always been really interested in different languages that's why I'm taking Spanish for four years I also speak Malay and so when I was a little kid, I was always interested in sign language. And so once I got older and I needed a cast project as well, it just kind of all, you know, worked together. So I just decided since we don't have one, I should start. Miriam had to go through various steps to make this club, like talk to Dr. Herzog and find a sponsor like Miss McKee. People in the past have said, why don't we have sign language class here at school? It's because I'm not certified, so I can't teach it technically. But after school, I can do it as a club. So now a lot of people are, are joining because uh, they've wanted to do sign language here for a long time. Sign language isn't just a cool skill to have. It can also be helpful in your daily life. In my job, I have had quite a few people come in who knew sign language and I didn't. And so it's just kind of an awkward language barrier which exists with any language. And so I thought it would just be really helpful to be able to communicate with those people. And now when they do come in, even though it's not extensive, I am able to communicate with them just the basic stuff, which is really, really awesome, actually. You don't need any past experience to join. For the most part, we just, we're learning sign language all that time. There's a beginner class, and then there's a little bit more of an advanced class. And if you're new, then you'll just go ahead and learn, you know, numbers or um, the alphabet just like you would with any beginner's language and then you would move on and advance throughout the, the time that you're there with us. Students get to have the experience to practice inside and outside of the club. Like we're taking this field trip to uh, the museum and we're going to interact with a lot of deaf people. Signing off for Tiger Broadcast, this is Carly Roberts. If you want to get involved in Sign Language Club, feel free to stop by after school on Tuesdays for a meeting from 2.30 to 3.45 in Miss McKee's room. Everyone is welcome to join and can start going to meetings anytime throughout the year. Speaking of new things, the media is always changing and it can be very difficult at times to keep up with it. Abby Lewis and Emily Fisher take to the halls of LSHS to see how many of our fellow classmates keep up with the media. News happens every day, some good, some bad. We decided to hit the halls of LSHS to see just how much news our Tigers really know. Do you know who won Miss America 2017? I have no idea. <laughs> I do not. It's Miss North Dakota. North Dakota? 
Yeah. Dang. Uh huh. <laughs> what a gal. What recent readaptation of its original 1990 film marked the largest opening ever for a horror movie and its third highest opening of 2017? It. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it. True. What specific group of people is Trump banning from being in the military? What are they called? Transgender. Yeah. <laughs> Gay and transgender people. Just transgender, but good job. Which popular YouTuber was accused of using an anti-Semitic slur while live streaming a game? That was a PDF. Uh, yeah. George Washington is the first president, and our current president is which president? The 46. Six? 44. You were close. It was 45. How many miles wide is Hurricane Irma? Um, 957. 400. Three? Three? 30. <laughs> 400. Oh my god. Which superstar couple surrogate is pregnant with what will be their third child? Um, the like Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. Yeah! Which volcano recently erupted on the Galapagos Islands? <laughs> <laughs> a big one. <laughs> There's a volcano on the island? As you can see, some students at LSHS could use some help keeping up with current events. Reporting for Tiger Broadcast, this is Abby Lewis. Can I like, can't get giggle? Thank you for watching this edition of Tiger Broadcast. For packages, short films, and more, go to www.tigerbroadcast.com. Or follow us on Twitter, at TVTV8Tigers. Once again, I'm Jacqueline Berry. And I'm Erica Milligan. See you next time. She's always, you know, willing to help someone and ask if she isn't sure. She had done it her whole life and kind of saw that as her future and getting into college. Now when they do come in, even though it's not extensive, I am able to communicate.